Hollenbeck area narcotics enforcement detail officers were conducting surveillance in the area of Broadway and Prince Street when they saw a man whom they recognized as a wanted parolee at large and identified as a suspect in an extortion investigative report which had occurred in Hollenbeck Division. That suspect was later identified as Jonathan Magana. The officers established a perimeter in the immediate area with the assistance of uniformed officers assigned to the gang enforcement detail, and upon losing sight of Magana, requested the assistance of Metropolitan Division K-9. Notifications were made to Metropolitan Division K-9, who responded shortly thereafter and assisted Hollenbeck Division officers in formulating a plan to locate Magana. Metropolitan K-9 officers established two teams and simultaneously began a search of the area. During the subsequent K-9 search, the K-9 alerted to the downstairs unit of a multi-unit residence in the 3800 block of North Broadway. The downstairs unit appeared to be a converted living space that was under construction. The two K-9 search teams consolidated into one team, set up containment on the residence, and developed a plan to make contact with Magana, whom they believed was hiding inside the downstairs unit. Prior to making contact with Magana, K-9 officers made repeated attempts in both English and Spanish to have him peacefully surrender. They gave him several warnings over the loudspeaker that the K-9 would be used to find him, and the use of the dog could possibly result in a bite. However, Magana did not comply with the officer's commands to surrender. As a result, the officers deployed multiple tactical beanbag rounds near Magana, and after continued non-compliance, introduced chemical agents into the residence to persuade Magana to exit. Magana then fired a handgun at several canine officers who were now positioned both inside and outside of the downstairs unit, which resulted in an officer-involved shooting. Three canine officers positioned inside the downstairs unit were struck by Magana's gunfire. Two were able to self-extricate to a safe location to be treated for their wounds, while a third remained inside. Uninjured canine officers again made entry into the location to extract the injured officer. The injured officers were then transported to a local hospital where they were treated for the gunshot wounds they sustained during the incident. The remaining canine officers repositioned themselves on the outside of the downstairs unit and set up containment on Magana. Notifications were then made to Metropolitan Division Special Weapons and Tactics, also known as SWAT, who responded shortly thereafter and began formulating a plan to resolve the situation. SWAT officers continued making repeated attempts to contact Magana in hopes of persuading him to surrender. However, Magana did not respond. As a result, SWAT officers deployed a robotic device equipped with a video camera into the downstairs unit where Magana had last been seen. While inside the downstairs unit, the robotic device located Magana, who appeared to be incapacitated. A short time later, SWAT personnel entered the downstairs unit and took Magana into custody without further incident. A portion of this incident was captured on the officer's body-worn video. Search announcement. This is the Los Angeles Police Department. We are searching for a suspect and are preparing to use a police dog. For your safety, please go inside your home or business and stay inside until we have completed our search. Person or persons who are hiding from the police. Make your location known to us immediately. Put down all weapons, come out with your hands raised, and follow directions. If you do not, a police dog will be used to find you. When the dog finds you, do not move or you may be bitten. You have one minute to surrender. Por su seguridad, por favor, entre a 
su casa o negocio y permanezca dentro hasta que nosotros hayamos concluido con nuestra búsqueda. A la persona o personas que se esconden de la policía, háganos saber dónde se encuentra inmediatamente. Coloque todas sus armas en el piso, salga con las manos arriba y siga nuestras instrucciones. Si no lo hace, usaremos a un perro policía para que lo encuentre. Cuando el perro lo haya encontrado, no se mueva, pues podría morderlo. Usted tiene un minuto para rendirse. Los Angeles Police Department, K9, make yourself known. Come to the door. If you don't, a police K9 will be used. He's a puppet. To your immediate right, there's gonna be an open door, just so you know, okay? There's another open door there. Okay. okay. So you got two open doors, one, two, nine, right. yeah. No, there's no high ground, there's a ceiling. But there's no high ground, no. All of them? Whichever way you go, I'll take the officer. All right. Hey, you right there on the bed, we see you. Wake up and listen to my voice. We're not going away. You either come or we'll go get you. What's his name? Marco. Marco. Is it Marco? Hey, what's his first name? Hey, call him in here. Jonathan. Stop acting a fool and wake up. Hey dude, the next one is going to hit you and it's going to hurt. 
You gotta go ahead and show yourself.
Right here in the arm. Okay. In the arm. In the arm. Hey, just in the arm. Relax, relax. You can't come out there. You need to surrender. So I think I go, took go, one in the back. I got you. Go, I took go, one in the back. I got this. Go, go. You can tell them we can take a look or if they want to go to the mirror. Oh,
Oh. You good? You, are you hit? I think so. I think I Go, think go. Check it out. I got you. Go, go, go. go. I got this. Go, go. Hey, count for our people. Hey, count for our people. Someone count their hits. Where's money? Who's in there? Who? Out, out, out. Nice. Come on. Get over here. Come on. Hey. Excuse. Who is it? You. Oh, oh, oh. Where are you? Where? Right here. Where is he? Get him out. He's suspect. Oh, oh, oh. I gotta get you out. I gotta get you out. No, you gotta come out. Come here. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm good. Let me know. Hey, Chris. Check this. I think I think I took one on the van. Hey, count four people. Don't yell their heads. Where's Mike? Who's in there? Who? Out, out. Get over here. Come on. Hey. Hey Mario, we're going to be stepping in the other door, so you're going to see our light uh, coming in. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Keep going, he's going to be in the corner to the left. Okay, we got him, we got him. Let me help me bodies, I'll feed him up to you. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, let's move up and take him into custody. Get him, uh, let's do this now. Do you need help? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let me help you. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't, don't hurt yourself. Give me one minute. Yep. Okay. What's that? I got it. Mm -hmm. okay. roll, roll that hand this way. Yeah. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Jeez. Yes, please. Yeah. Once in custody, it was determined that Magana had been struck multiple times by gunfire. Los Angeles Fire Department personnel assigned to the Tactical Emergency Medical Support Unit, also known as TEMS, who were already at scene to render immediate aid, pronounced Magana deceased. The TEMS unit is a group of highly trained and experienced paramedics who are embedded with law enforcement officers and capable of responding into active shooter incidents. Their goal is to be able to prevent or reduce the loss of life through rapid extraction and transportation during shooting incidents. Investigators recovered two loaded semi-automatic pistols and a loaded high-capacity magazine next to where Magana was taken into custody and booked them as evidence. Investigators learned that one of the pistols was a ghost gun. <laughs>